We started off the week with a bill by Senator Rebecca Millett to fund the intellectual disabilities wait list. Our oldest child is Eric. Eric is a young man who happens to be autistic, nonverbal, and with some behavioral challenges. He aged out of school in June this past year and lost all support services in December. I couldn't comprehend how the same system that was so helpful and beneficial to Eric in children's services became non-existent in the adult services. Just because Eric aged out of school and turned 21 didn't mean, for lack of a better word, that he was cured. December was coming, decisions needed to be made. Eric couldn't be alone, someone was gonna to have to give up their job to be with him. It came down to my partner Galen giving notice after the Christmas holiday. Knowing the struggles my family has gone through, my heart goes out to those still going through the struggle. No one wants to see their loved ones slip through the cracks in the system, and that is what is happening with this wait list. So on Tuesday morning, we had a press conference with survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault. Hey, first of all, victims and survivors, we believe you. Thank we you. also believe, yes, we believe you. <laughs> but we also believe that you deserve access to a good justice system that will absolutely value your experience and get you the justice that you deserve. Uh, we had an increase in our statute of limitations, which was very, very exciting. From Thank seven you, years Senator. to 20. We also had the first increase in funding in 20 years. Thank you to all the people that were standing here behind me today, because it was their hard work and their advocacy that made that happen. We also had a huge press conference this week on high-speed reliable broadband. No matter if you're living in Rustic, where I'm from, uh, Washington County, Oxford County, uh, you know, even Cumberland County, you know, we have a problem in Maine, and we've waited for way too long to actually make a significant investment in this. Today we're proposing a bill to make a $15 million investment in reliable, high-speed internet in rural Maine. In this session, this session, is when we're gonna do it. Because the longer we wait to make this investment, the longer Maine's rural communities fall further and further behind in today's economy. So earlier on this summer, we had met with Cary Medical Center and uh, Chris Duty about the challenges of workforce. And one of the issues that had come up was that we should let EMTs be able to work uh, in the hospital after they deliver patients. Uh, so that was a bill that we had this week to try and take care of some of those workforce shortages.